Hello, hello, nasties. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to, uh, what are we going to refer to this video as? It's a mini work day vlog. It's not a full vlog because it's only a few minutes, but today is the day before the end of Vlogtober slash Vlogoween. So technically the day before Halloween. Are we making a big to-do about Halloween? No, absolutely not, because you guys know first and foremost that I am living in every day is Halloween land, right? And not only that, but to be honest with you, I'm more of a Day of the Dead girl than Halloween. I'm all about the glitter, the sparkle, the bright colors, the fun food. Not so much the gory grossness, right? So we just, we tend to downplay Halloween around here because your girl's just spooky all the time. But that being said, we made it just about to the end of Vlogtober slash Vlogoween. It will be officially over tomorrow. So in the spirit of getting a video up today, I just took a few different clips of my workday and I'm giving you guys a little preview. Well, okay. I'm calling it a preview of a tentative project that I have going for next year, and that is, of course, these little sketchy, bright, funky, fabulous 1980s-inspired illustrations. But here's the thing. I say I'm giving you a hint, a little, a little peeky peek, but I did some digging the other day through my photos on my phone. And I came to the realization that I've been working on these girls since earlier this year. Since I think May, April, May, right around there. I could not even believe it. This freaking year has flown by and it gives me, look, I'm not necessarily an anxious person, but I'm always on my toes. And just seeing how quickly time flies by just makes me so damn anxious because I have so much going on, so many things planned, and it's just like, where the hell does the time go but all of that being said i had been throughout the course of the year slowly been accumulating a nice little stack of these girls i have right around 30 at this point i think just to make it a nice cool even number we're gonna do i'm gonna scribble out two more this weekend and then that way we will have exactly 30. so i have a whole pile of these and I think one of these days in the near future, I'm going to make a video talking, just sharing them all with you guys because I am pretty sure that I'm going to be selling them. However, I don't know where I'm going to be putting them up for sale. They're either going to be for sale through my Etsy shop or I'm leaning towards putting them up for sale in my new boutique, Coco Naughty. If you are unfamiliar, I recently opened, recently as in this month, couple weeks ago, I opened a fresh, brand new art and fashion boutique. And on that boutique, it is art, it is fashion, all with my funky, fabulous retro twists. And I think these girls translate very well to what I'm trying to create over there on Coco Naughty. Naughty Naughty, gotta enunciate those T's. But yes, so I have been creating essentially all year long a ton of these cute little chicks. They photograph quite poorly because on many of them I've used neon colors, so I haven't figured out how I'm going to uh, photo and or scan them. I just, I don't know. I think what it is is that I just need to get a new phone, but it still works. I'm one of those people who uses a cell phone until it is literally falling apart. I don't see the point in updating technology like that when it's perfectly fine. You know, it's just one of those things. But um, you're going to definitely see these popping up on my Instagram feed in the near future when I figure out how to uh, colorize and photo them properly. But aren't they cute? I think this is probably the cutest, most lengthy project that I've worked on this year. And I think they're just, oh, they're just precious. So that is something that will be coming in the next year. Once I figure out exactly how I want to handle this whole situation because as I said, I haven't even figured out if I'm going to sell them, I haven't even figured out where I'm going to sell them, but I definitely don't want to just make them and set them aside. I think they're so, they're simple, but kind of complicated. They're sketchy, but they're very me. They're just, I, I don't know. They're, I, I consider them to be 
marker sketches, but I put a little bit more thought into them than just a quick little sketch in my sketchbook. And I don't know, I just had a really good time with this unexpected series. It started off as just, I literally sat down one day at my desk and I worked on, I think three of them and I thought, these are cool. I wanna do something with them. And then voila, throughout the course of the year, I made 30 of them. I mean, look how cute they are. Look how cute, they are all ink, marker, and a little bit of gel pen on a few of them. I just, it was time. It was time for me to reignite my love for markers. You guys know that I use markers in my coloring books all the time, but in terms of illustration, I don't. Not standalone pieces like this. I used to a long time ago, years ago, I used to, but it's like, why did I stop? Forgot how much I love alcohol markers. Alcohol markers are so great. They're just so cool and they lend themselves really well to my style. So here's to more art marker art in the future. Now, in terms of the remainder of this vlog, and of course now, now we have a gremlin serenade. So I'm just gonna take a sip of my tea while he does his funny business. Iced Earl Grey tea. Me and my man, the Earl. You know it's my favorite tea. I'm gonna put some lavender oil in it, and that would make it taste better. Mm. All right, yes, yes, I am an annoying straw slurper, okay? But I digress. So for the rest of this vlog, all I did was just film several different chunklets of my day. I worked on a few of these little 80s ladies, and then the other thing that I did on this day was, I mean, aside from working on my secret projects, ooh, I had to put some address labels on some envelopes. So that is going to do it for this vlog. It's just, I told you, just a mini little, let's hang out in the studio today and just get things done. I wish I could show you guys what I've been up to otherwise, but I just can't. I am chomping at the bit. I am like just a little monster with a bit in her mouth, just huffing and puffing and waiting, but I just, I can't. I have to keep things quiet until the time is right and it's killing me but we can do it, we can do it. All right, but that being said, let's continue on with the rest of this vlog. It's not very exciting. We just worked today. Well, I see, it's exciting for me, the actual process of working, but showing you what I've been up to, it's not very exciting, is it? Just watching me scribble and then watching me slap some stickers on some envelopes. Funny story about these address labels. I mean, it's not really funny, it's just, it's just an expression. But when I ordered these address labels, I ordered, you know, off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you how many it was. It was either 500 or 1,000. I cannot remember. 500 sounds right, but who knows? It, it No more than 1,000, but it was definitely at least 500. I ordered these address labels with my P.O. box on them. Three months later, my post office closed and moved down the street. So now the address is incorrect, but I said, damn it, I already spent the money on my stickers. I'm not purchasing anymore. So what ends up happening is that because the other post office is still there, it's still standing, it hasn't been raised to the ground or anything, it's still there. Uh, the mail that has the address on it, this old address, just gets routed to the new post office location. And I still have a ton of these left. So I, I mentioned that because I have been posting lately that I have been playing with my scrapbook and I have opened myself up to receiving P.O. Box mail again. Watch the videos of my scrapbook in which I mention my P.O. Box. Um, please don't send me gifts. Anything three-dimensional that doesn't fit in a little teeny tiny peel box. I have a tiny peel box, okay? Feel free to send me artwork, letters, postcards, anything like that. But please, 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 for the love of everything holy and unholy, please don't feel obligated to send me anything, especially anything that's going to cost you more than the price of a card, okay? Please, just artwork, letters dried flowers, I don't care, graveyard dirt, 
Send me anything that you can fit in an envelope and I will gladly include that in my scrapbook. But I mention it because ignore the address that is on these stickers. If you would like to send me something, take a look in the description box of this video because that is where the correct updated address is. It's very similar to the address, but it's different. So just keep that in mind. And with that, we are going to end this vlog. Thank you so much for joining me. That is going to do it. That is going to do it. I keep I keep almost catching myself saying things that I shouldn't. So we're just going to zip the lip, take off, and I will see you tomorrow. I will definitely at some point tomorrow sit down for five or six minutes just to say, hey, Vlogoween Vlogtober is over. We made it. Woo! But it's not going to be a big exciting party because I already told you Halloween is every day on my planet. So don't expect a big, fabulous, fantastic video tomorrow. But I will be seeing you tomorrow. So be bad, be good. I don't give a damn which. Just come back in one piece. Taking a break. Taking a break. To give my little monster a smooch. Oh, you smooched me first. It's a smooch fight. Hi, Gremlin. What are you doing? You want to say hi to everyone? Mwah. Oh, okay. Oh, oh my goodness. No attack. Oh my. No.